Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to be doing a lipstick review and I'm going to be reviewing the new Givenchy La Rouge Matte um, Sheer Velvet Matte Lips. These just came out a few days ago. Well, they were just available on Sephora's website. They're probably available on Givenchy's website. I didn't go look. Um, I picked up three shades. In total, there's about 10 shades. Um, let me take them out the pack to show y'all what the packaging looks like. This is what the packaging looks like this is a nice pretty pink color these are sheer matte buildable lip color blurred with a soft focus effect these retail for $38 and again these are available in 10 shades up the shade 16 which is nude bowls I think that's how you say it and I also have the shade 32 which is rouge brick and the shade 39 I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name basically I'm just gonna apply these to my lips um, with the brown lip liner and let y'all know what I think about these lipsticks. Do I think they're worth it or whether or not you should go out and pick one up. So let's just get right into this review. First shade that I have is shade 16. And this is just described as a nude with a powdery pink undertone. So let's do a quick swatch. And that's what shade 16 looks like swatched on my arm. As you see, this is definitely a pinky kind of nude shade and these are very soft like this feels super creamy yeah. lipsticks i could automatically tell these will be ones that will break easily so you definitely don't want to press too hard when applying it to your lip for lip liner i'm going to be using my kvd lip liner in the shade crucifix this is like my tried and true lip liner it's the only one that i use What shade 16 looks like being that this is a sheer lipstick i was expecting it not to be super pigmented but i feel like this has a nice pigment to it um it kind of feels like a lip balm on my lips i really like this shade a lot um i feel like with this shade you could possibly wear this without a brown lip liner or with the lip liner it just depends on how you want to wear it and your skin tone i definitely um like this shade so far i think this is a pretty color. shade i have is a shade 32 and this is described as a brick red with the orange undertone and this is what that shade looks like and honestly this is the one i'm most excited for a quick swatch of this one this is what shade 32 looks like swatch you could definitely see the orange undertone in it looks like on my lips um, I'm loving this shade so far honestly I like both shades so far I'm definitely not disappointed with either shade that I just feels so good on my lips and when I was removing the first shade it came off easily it's not like one of those lipsticks where you kind of have to like really put a little effort in to get the lipstick off your lips and afterwards your lips feel dry or like you need to apply a lip balm or something right away my lips didn't feel like that at all when I removed the first shade so far like I'm loving the formula of these lipsticks okay and lastly I have shade 39 this is described as a burgundy red with purple undertones And this is what 39 looks like. Let's swatch that one. And this is what 39 looks like. Um, this really don't look all that burgundy and I really don't see any purple undertones in it. This is what 39 looks like on my lips. Um, on my lips, it looks a little different than how it looks swatched. To me, when I swatched it on my arm, it looked like it was a little more red, but on my lips, it definitely is burnt. I feel like this shade will be perfect for fall, like a everyday fall color. It doesn't look too vampy, because sometimes burgundy lipsticks kind of give me a vampy vibe. And I do feel like the other two shades I have will be a perfect all year round shade, everyday lipstick that you kind of want to throw on quick with the lip liner that looks nice. So my final thoughts on these lipsticks, do I think they're worth picking up? Um, I like the formula of these lipsticks like my lips definitely feel very moisturized um, I like that these are sheer lipsticks but you don't have to work hard or like really build the shade up on your lips because usually with sheer lipsticks you kind of got to build up the color or the color is almost like not there I feel like with these lipsticks you would have to reapply these a lot especially if you're still wearing a max I feel like these will come off easily on your mask all three shades I feel like shade 39 is my least favorite 
Um, I feel like I kind of have lipsticks that are very similar to this. I don't know. I just don't like the shade 39 as much as I do like the shade 16 and 32. Like, I really love those shades, especially 32. Like, that was a nice orangey red lipstick. I like these lipsticks a lot, but I don't feel like someone should go out right away and buy two or three of these lipsticks because these are kind of pricey at $38. I would say look online, find you a shade that you feel like you're going to get a lot of use out of and buy that particular shade. And if you like it, then maybe go out and get you two more shades two or three however you want but I just don't feel like someone need to go out and buy all three of these but these are really nice everyday lipstick these are perfect if you don't like a matte lipstick but you want a lipstick that give you a lot of pigmentation on your lips I will recommend these um lipsticks y'all so that is it for today's video y'all let me know in the comment section which shade do you like um let me know whether or not you're going to pick up these lipsticks or not but anyway y'all don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later Bye.